Hey, what's up, hello? My name is Alexis. If you're new to my channel, I post vlogs and such every single Wednesday. And for today's video, I am so excited to finally be filming this video. It has been a long time coming. In today's vlog, I am finally getting a hamster. I've been wanting a hamster for years and it's recently picked back up over the past couple months and now that I'm finally back home, I can finally get a hamster. But before I actually go get the hamster, I gotta fix the cage which is up here. I actually bought a 75 gallon aquarium tank from Petco. It was, I got it during their sale from their 50% off sale so I'm not exactly sure how much it was it was on the pricier end but I wanted to just make that investment so for the past two days I've been getting packages in the mail I actually got the first one from chewy.com I would pick it up but it's really heavy and I got the bedding as well as the food from chewy.com just because I got a $15 off little coupon in the mail so I ended up getting like $50 worth of stuff for 15 uh, for $35 instead and then from Amazon I got all the essentials that I needed you know like the water bottle the wheel the hut um, all those kind of like decoration kind of things so I'm gonna be unboxing that right now and be showing you guys everything that I got I will also be linking everything that I got in the description below if you're interested in any of these things let's start off with the chewy box. This box is so happy because I have a 10 pound sandbag in here. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I got the 85 liter KT clean and cozy petting and I decided to get the biggest one because that is a 75 gallon tank so I gotta fill it up somehow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Next I got some repti sand. This is the 10 pound bag and it is so heavy too. Oh my gosh. I got the tiny friends farm a hazel hamster tasty mix but I also got the oxbow essentials hamster and gerbil food which looks like this I decided to get two different kinds because I saw somewhere that they needed a mix uh, hamsters need like a mix of you know seeds and stuff but also have enough like proteins and vitamin support and minerals so that's why I got this one and that is it for the chewy box next I'm bringing out uh, the bigger Amazon box. I got two different Amazon boxes because I got about 10 or 12 items. I can't remember, but it ended up coming up to almost $200 on Amazon. And obviously like this, this project is costing a lot of money. Like that was like $100. The Amazon was like $200, but actually I ended up getting, I keep pointing my bad. I actually got a $50 gift card for Amazon from my internship for being employee of the week. So that was a nice $50 off. And then I also signed up for the Amazon credit card, I believe. Yeah, no credit card. <laughs> and then I also used different apps to like get cash back, you know, like getting gift cards and things like that. So on one of them, I had a $10 gift card that I could redeem. So I also got that. So the Amazon total did come up to be like $180 but I also had $110 off, so it came out to be roughly $80 with in taxes included. So I opened the box and everything in here is boxes as well. I wanna start with this box. I have no clue what is in each box. It has like no indication whatsoever about what it is. So this includes the mix of toys. Next, I got this cute pink little hideout. And this, some of the stuff will make more sense in a little bit once I explain the name. So when I was doing my hamster research, I saw that Night Angel Angel is a really good company, a really good brand that does a lot of hamster stuff. And when I was looking on their Amazon storefront page, I saw these paper pellets and it comes in a light blue as well as a dark blue. Again, the color choices will make sense in a little bit, but as you can tell, they kind of match my shirt. If you know what the shirt says, then you'll get a little bit of a clue. I just want to preface this by saying I got a lot of Night Angel stuff. So I got this three chamber little hideout and it also comes with a top that just fell off. And the last thing in this first Amazon box, this has come in a very secure package. Oh my gosh. So this is the Night Angel Silent Wheel. I got it in the smallest size just because I am going to get a dwarf hamster. Let me show you guys really quick what my room is looking like. This is crazy. <laughs> just new hamster things. <laughs> Alright, got the last Amazon box here. So first I got this Night Angel ladder to go up to this thing. So 
There we go, that goes together. I got some KT Chew toys. I got a blue Night Angel tunnel. I got the blue Night Angel water bottle. It's like a stand, but it's falling. So I guess I gotta put that together with this stuff. <laughs> I got two little heart dish bowls. These colors also relate to the name of the hamster, red and yellow. I got these waterproof cork boards to go on top of the hideout so it like helps protect the wood. And last but not least, I got a carrying cage so I can bring him home from the pet store as well as put him in here if I ever need to clean the cage or God forbid if I need to take him to the vet one day. So that is my brand new hamster haul and uh, now I gotta clean up and put the cage together. Which of course I'm gonna be showing you guys me filling up the cage. I'm so excited! Okay, so here is the cage. I'm gonna start by putting in the bedding first, as well as the sand that's down there. Planning on having the bedding over here and then like having it kind of high and then slowly slope down into the sand area over here. Oh god, I fear that I'm gonna need another thing of this. What is this? I found latex glove in here oh my god that is ridiculous i found another piece what the heck i keep finding trash in here like this is literally like a piece of cardboard from like packaging that's so upsetting because literally everyone was recommending this brand because it's good for burrowing and originally I was going to get like Carefresh, but I found parts of latex gloves. I found black parts, like like it's like dirty. I found cardboard and I also found this little yellow piece in here. So. so this is what it's looking like from the side. I don't know if I should like move some from over there more over here to make it taller, but I feel like it's a good height. For now I didn't make sure to take extra time and really like break everything down because this is like all the, like the kind of trashier things I found I didn't think I was gonna need the whole 10 pounds of sand but I guess I did and I am gonna move like some of this stuff right here over up more because I still have the other type of bedding as well so I have this thing it's supposed to be like a little hut like this but I'm gonna end up using it as a wall between the sand and the bedding just so it could just be separated a little bit but it's still gonna like kind of flow down to the bottom This is kind of like land and then it's going to have the blue going down into like the beachy area. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Does that look like a beach? I, <laughs> I like it. I'm going to connect this to like from this to like right here. Like a little out to the ocean which will also makes sense when I explain the name. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I guess next we will do the wheel. I'm planning on putting the wheel in the sandbox portion of it just because I as like I always see people putting it there. So I'm like I am part of the crowd. I follow the crowd. <laughs> it has this thing on the bottom. I don't know if I'm supposed to take that off because it also came with this. Like does it go like this? Is, is that how it goes? I'm confused. It is quiet. Wow. I'm not sure where I should put this guy. Maybe down here in the sand because I'll have the three box thingy on this side. Does that look cute? Should I get it away from the glass because maybe he might move it? Mm. Maybe more over here? That, that looks good. This doesn't have like a sticky thing. It didn't come with a sticky thing too. You know what I mean? So I don't know how well that's gonna stay there. Guess we'll see how it goes. Ended up liking it better in that corner so you can still see the tunnel. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Okay, this makes no sense to me. So this wooden thing 
connects to this thing easily, right? But this cork board does not fit in here. So like, why would they even sell me the cork board if it's not gonna fit? So I just ended up moving the cork board back a little bit so it can have enough room to attach. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is the setup right now. I definitely gotta get more stuff. I just, I didn't know how crowded it was gonna be because obviously I've never done this before. So I definitely will pick up more stuff. But over here, we got the food bowl and the water on top of the little hideout. Got some stairs, got the tunnel that leads all the way down over here. And that's another food bowl, the night angel silent wheel and another cute little hideout. This is so cute, oh my gosh, I love it. That fit perfectly so well. <laughs> Are you excited? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now I gotta clean up my mess. I got a paper towel to like rub around me so I can put it in the little cage so it can start to smell me, if that makes sense. I saw it in a YouTube video, I think. So hopefully it works. <laughs> He's currently still in the little home, so just waiting for him to come out and then I'll show you guys how he does in the cage. Hello, I decided to do a voiceover to not make this video super long, but I had decided to name my hamster Ponyo from the Studio Ghibli movie Ponyo. <laughs> and I decided to go with this name because it's one of my favorite movies of all time and in the movie, Ponyo loves ham. So ham stir. <laughs> so Ponyo is a fish from the ocean which is why I mentioned the beach thing in my cage and then the tunnel represents the tunnel Ponyo and Sosuke go through towards the end of the movie and then the red and yellow bowls is because Ponyo's dress is red and Sosuke's shirt is yellow. I also had a green little pail to put in the cage but it's a little too big and the reasoning behind that was because Sosuke carries Ponyo around in a green pail. But I did go ahead and add a little boat from the movie, the main boat that they use in the movie, as well as a nameplate. I stuck it on to the cage. I got both of the stickers from Redbubble. So I just personalized it a bit to match Ponyo. And I know Ponyo is a girl in the movie, but Ponyo, the name itself, can actually be gender neutral and it means soft and squishy. So everything just made sense to me to name my hamster Ponyo. So that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. I upload vlogs as such every single Wednesday and also subscribe if you're new.